Okay, Robert back here. I'm going to try to make a short video on some mental comparisons. And I can't guarantee it's going to be short, but I'm going to try to make it short. And at the end, we're going to have a little teaser for an upcoming video. So y'all stick around. Okay, before we get started on them mantles, I know y'all see my little pumpkin sitting back there in the background. How you like it? Is it too cool or what? I was looking for a clear uh, globe that size, but I haven't had any luck finding a clear one yet. I seen one on eBay. I think I'm getting ready to order. and uh, But I would like to have a clear one. I come off an old railroad lantern. And here, I just recently built this one uh, I've been working on these vices for the lanterns day in day out for, for these people I mean they're working me to death and I got so burnt out on it I had to take a break I, I had to fiddle something and a common 220 wasn't going to cut it so I had this old table lamp in the house that um, I've had probably three four maybe five years I never had their 335 globe or a shade to go on it just been sitting there unused all this time so I decided to go ahead and build a custom out of it uh, I used a 200A frame it's got a 220 generator with no packing it's got a 200A tip on the generator I don't know if I mentioned this is a kerosene lamp and uh, that's a ventilator off of a uh, AGM and um, it's pushing a three to four hundred candle power butterfly mantle took me a while to get it all figured out clocked in and dialed in but uh, i think i finally got it i had it running pretty good the other day when i finished up with it so let's let's fire this thing up and see what happens okay, i got this old uh zoom wooler been been laying around here in the shop forever that i never used so i took a lighter and I heated it up and bent it around on the end. I tried to do it without crimping it. And I think it's going to be perfect for reaching up in there and filling that primer cup on the uh, on these kerosene lanterns. So let's see what happens. Try to feed that up through there. Try not to hit my mantle. I'm just going to squeeze the bottle. See if we can fill that thing up. Hey, I think it's working. We did it didn't hit the mantle it worked pretty good couldn't find anything to fit up in that hole I don't have any matches but I do have this little strip of wood so I'm just gonna dip the tip of this in the alcohol like this done it let's let that prime she's starting to steam up a little bit moisture in the air you turn around that side that side is not steamed you can see the blue flame in there just a little bit you see that mantle glowing as that flame hits it won't be long now you don't get this kerosene generator hot enough you you have a big old fireball I had to extend this um, pricker here pricker rod to turn it it was too short with this uh, base all right let's go ahead and try this Hey. Okay. 
Not too shabby. Afraid I didn't get it warm enough and she was gonna fire up on me. There we go, pushing a three to four hundred candle power butterfly mantle. So it warms up, it quit flaring up like that. Let me try just a little more air. Afraid to put too much. I think that's about right. On top of the stack, I have a 9970. And if you know, you know. But that's that's going to be the last. That's going to be our teaser. So we're not going to pull them out yet. We're going to start with a... Uh, this is a common number 21. Um, common mantle. It's an older one. As you can see, it's kind of yellowed. And I've got several of these, but I don't use many. Here's my favorite, the American Mantle. It's just a little bit bigger than the number 21. Looser weave or big weave, if you want to call it that. But this is my favorite. This is my go-to mantle here. And they're sold at my local Ace Hardware. So, I mean, they're easy for me to get, and I like the mantles. So, I mean, it's a good combination. I hate to admit it, but I have no idea how many candle power the number 21 is or or the American Mantle. I, I don't have a clue. And I had some number 20 that's made for these 222s, but I can't find them anywhere. But I am running a number 21 on that, and it works just as well. Okay, next, we've got a Petromax HK. It's a 250 candle power. You can see it's a much larger mantle and it is more round than it is oval and that's very similar to what I have on here this is a 300 which I'll show you next a three to four hundred candle power it's a little bit bigger than this one but you know when you like these they shrink it down quite a bit because you can see on that one how much it's shrunk down here is the uh, butterfly three to four hundred candle power They don't look like they're a whole lot of difference, but as you can see, it is just a little bit bigger around. Maybe a quarter inch width while it's folded flat like that. When you open it up, it is quite a bit bigger. So this is the 250 candle power Petromax. This is the three to four hundred candle power. Um, butterfly. I don't have any idea if I'm pronouncing this right or not. It's an egret, 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 I guess. It's made in Shanghai, China. This is a five to six hundred candle power. Well, actually, let's do this, this one first. This is the this is just a 500 candle power Coleman made in the Philippines. And you can compare that to the number 21. Those are about the same, same years, probably from the same time period. But this one will shrink down quite a bit. This one will shrink down to about the size of this one. And we got the five to six hundred candle power. And really don't look no different than the three to four hundred candle power. It's uh, just a hair bigger, I guess. Flatten these back out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a looser weave, so I think it'll stretch out a little more than what the... So it's just, it's just a hair bigger. 
but it is advertised as a five to six hundred candle power and the Coleman 500 that was a 111 so it's kind of a longer and skinnier mantle and these are more round here I've got a Coleman Max 95 and these are an accordion style they're a huge lantern these are for, I'm pretty sure these are for the North Star and if I'm not mistaken a North Star pushes 550 candle power I, I researched that one at one time and so I mean that's that is a huge mantle and of course it will stay stretched out because it will lock you in the top and the bottom I do have a North Star propane lantern but I my brother gave me he was having some trouble out of it it wasn't burning right and I, I'm not a big propane guy so I've never tried to get it going but if I do I've got the mantles or maybe one day I'll get the actual uh, gas lantern in my collection okay now for the teaser it's gonna be for an upcoming video you see these are a push on 9970 mantle and uh, for the uh, Coleman excursion, excursion lantern so uh, I'm not going to open that it's an unopened pack but I do have a pack that I've already opened now, this is not the coolest little thing you ever seen in your life have anybody seen a mantle that small like okay, that's not as big around as my little finger I mean, can you imagine after it shrinks up so compared to the standard number 21 Look at that. Anyway, I, have, I ordered this lantern from eBay. And um, it's supposed to be in here yesterday, but for some reason they, they took it back to Lexington and, and shipped it out again today. And uh, I got an alert on it a little while ago. It's going it's to be here today, supposedly. So they say. But that's what they said yesterday. But I don't know what's going on with that. But I got the mantles, but not the lantern. So... Hopefully it'll be here today, like they said. So anyway, that's that's just too cool. Hope that helped some of you all that's asking questions about the uh, mantle candle powers and sizes. I'm no expert on these, but this is the different ones that I have here. Okay, you all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.